Howdy. Yeah. I look back at the conversations we've had over the years and I look at the motivations behind a lot of the questions and I call the beginning, I was an action junkie and I was really involved in throwing myself into things. Did you hear our preparation for this conversation with you just now before you came up here? Because we don't want you to be an action junkie, but we want you to be a physical junkie. Exactly. We want you to be addicted to your physicality. We want you to want the evidence of your spirituality to show up through your physicality. Definitely. Yeah. And then I took a step back because it didn't go as far as I wanted it to go. So well, I became you started out with a little bit of a flawed premise because you were talking about the motivation and motivation is negative stuff driving you forward where inspiration is who you really are calling you forward. So there was a little understanding curve. Touche. Yeah. And um, <laughs> the motivation was to create the inspiration was to create. And then I became a more deliberate thinker of how I was going to create. Did you take pleasure from your thoughts? Absolutely. <sighs> so much pleasure from your thoughts that you could almost just bliss out on thinking. But the problem with that is those thoughts are going to turn to things. They're going to turn to things because you live in a physical world. And the more that I've discovered and entertain this idea of creation I've resigned to accepting the contrast that's what we were reaching for that's everything that we were saying just now before you came up here we want you to resign yourself to the inevitability of your success and I've misappropriated the it's thinking right. and the action you were calibrating you weren't misappropriating you were calibrating in terms of I thought I was supposed to be doing step two we know we know. And the action was in step one. And do you know what words we've found that speak to that in a really easy to integrate and teach way? We've been saying, feel the awesome power of non resisted thought. Yes. Because that's what your inner being feels. Feel the awesome power of non resisted thought. And then we tweaked it just a little bit. Feel the awesome pleasure of non resisted thought. Because you are not the one that gathers the power and then throws it over there to make things happen. So the action and the thought now are this relationship with source and taking the pleasure in being an inspired translator of thought or being fully within my body as I run or take part in activity instead of using those two manually manipulate reality to think I need to construct it myself. See, that's the difference that Esther discovered too. It's the difference between seeing herself as getting out into the next segment and making it be the way she needs it to be in order for it to be the way she wants it to be and accomplishing the vibrational shift in herself and the law of attraction, then bringing to that shifted self, those things. <sighs> Absolutely. She likes the picture of Wizard of Oz and you remember the good witch that came in a bubble. Mm -hmm. So Esther likes that picture of herself in that bubble. She's wearing a different dress. I would be too. And <laughs> moving out into the world is that powerful point of attraction. Yeah. Do you know you've got it? Do you know I that you've it. got it? Yeah. And in it I have a vision for self I am a powerful um, attractor of clarity a facilitator every word you're clarity. saying is so on point every word you're saying is so on point my life is going really well and as I still have that vision a question is I'm deliberating between how I focus and calibrate in that step three, step four, step five space of do I focus on the integrity and the feeling of the vision that I have? If it feels really good. I can go into specifics deeply on that. Go into as many specifics as you can go into while it really feels good because the feeling good is the operative word. And, and if you go too far, it won't feel so good. So then back off. 
because if you go too far you're introducing resistance by specifics that you haven't worked the bugs out of yet and I can feel that yeah and it's like being the observer like the role that I have now that I understand that step one created it is to feel be the observer of self as I move in the world and and feel the wobbles and ask myself am I willing to clean that up or just go in a different direction and even enjoy the wobble a little bit absolutely which leads us to something that you already know but it's a nice way to punctuate this closing today which you have done magnificently we don't need to add anything more to it step one is life causes you to ask for more so you didn't have to do that did you that was prepaved before you even got into this physical body you said I'll go into an environment that will elicit from me personal decisions that are unique to me can't stop that from happening it's just happening and then step two happened not your work as you came to understand fully step two is source and the law of attraction responded to your vibrational requests and then began gathering and have gathered the cooperative components and then step three that's when you get a little actualized and a little deliberate that's when you care about how you feel and you begin contouring your thoughts deliberately as we've talked about all day here to what feels best and then step four happens which is just the natural inclination to do that always you're just such a master at that you're just so hooked on feeling good and so trusting of the process that your angst is gone and your eagerness is dominant and so now you're just reaching for good feeling thoughts and they come so easily that you've mastered it you've mastered step three which is what step four is and then our favorite of all now you are in your mastery exploring the world and discovering things that you don't want and they're not bothering you one bit because in your knowledge and mastery you know you need not choose one thing that you do not want you understand the power of your focus and so if there's something that you don't want and you know it because it feels bad when you focus upon it you look briefly and then you divert your eyes and your attention to something that feels better so in step five you're in control of your vibration embracing variety liking choices liking choices from the buffet but wise enough to know that you need not linger someplace you don't want to be and if you don't there will be no vibrational attachment on your part oh, step five is such a delicious place to be I love step five would it be fair to say that step three is uh, more conditional than the unconditional step five like step three can be triggered to step one and step five is unconditional yeah and, and why is that because, because step momentum. four was in there yeah <laughs> step three you're learning your way like learning to ride the bicycle you watch some child learning to walk and he falls down you don't say get up you little dummy you know that he's going to find his balance and you will find balance in step three if you get hooked on the feeling of feeling good if you care about feeling good then step four will become your mastery of step three and so you're absolutely correct step three has more likely resistance in it than step four because step four you've practiced it more and once you are truly a master of how you feel we don't mean always feeling good we don't mean having only positive emotion we mean having awareness of when you're aligned and awareness of when you're not and at least choosing it in other words just doing it on purpose being deliberate about it sometimes you just feel good being bad sometimes it feels good to push it a little bit just to make sure that the universe hasn't lost its grip on the law of attraction <laughs> sometimes it's satisfying to see things turn out just the way you knew they would even if you didn't want them to turn out that way yep just testing you just making sure that the universe is still operating the way I know it to be and that it's responding to my vibration but oh as you come into this alignment as you are demonstrating through your alignment that's the way life is supposed to be there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have and this life will just keep pointing out to you and you will never reach the place where you have beat it or do it or have it all there will always be something more that you're reaching for that's the promise of your eternal life experience we've enjoyed this conversation today more than any that has come before there is so much love here for you and eagerness eagerness 
about the tactile manifestations that are coming your way savor them enjoy them devour them be proud of them show off in your manifestations and let others know that you are a deliberate creator and that the universe is at your command there is great love here for you and for now we are complete